You know, uh... As far as drum set education, I'm a very tough critic of um, educators on our instrument. I think, uh, by and large, um, most drum set educators are stuck in a 19th century model, like most educators are, and we really have to break out of that. And it's very difficult to do as an educator. It's very, very hard to not simply regurgitate what you've been taught. It's really, really tough. Because usually what you do is that you'll go back to, a, you'll go to the default model that you think got you to where you are. And if we do that for our students in a 21st century music business, then we uh, shouldn't be very proud of our art. We need to do better as educators. So I've recently just blown up my entire um, uh, my entire curriculum and the way I work with students, and I only teach privately, uh, unless I'm doing you know clinics or workshops, so I'm only teaching privately. Um, there's a guy named Sal Khan who has recently, uh, it's called the Khan Academy, K-H-A-N, and he has done this thing which is called flipping the classroom, where the things that kids used to do at home, they're not actually, actually doing in the classroom. The things they used to do in the classroom, they're doing at home. So they're actually doing things like watching lectures and stuff like that at home, but they're doing the homework in the classroom. Where they, so when they're encountering problems where they really need a teacher, that's, it's such a beautiful model, and it's using technology to help elevate the student to a completely different level than they ever could have using the old 19th century model that has been passed down to us. So I just recently decided to walk the walk. It wasn't enough for me to just say that, um, you know, there aren't a lot of good uh, drum set education moments happening anymore. Um, it was up to me to ch blow up what I'm doing. And I did, I completely, I went from top to bottom and I asked myself every single thing of what I'm showing, every single thing. If I couldn't validate it for a young musician who's going into the music business that is awaiting them, not what was awaiting me. It's a different business now. It is different. So if we're going to really groom these young students for the business that's awaiting them, then I am going to go through every single thing that I am giving that student and I am throwing out what doesn't apply to their world. And it was amazing how much stuff got put aside. You know, so it's been a very, uh, it's been a really cool about 18 months for me so far. It's been extremely freeing, and my students are the judge, not me. I could say, I could sit here and go blah 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 about, and you know, stamp my feet and hold my breath about things I don't like. But if I don't do anything to change them, I am part of the problem. So I changed them, and then I went to the students and I said, "How is this affecting you?" And the result has been incredibly gratifying, personally and artistically. The students are loving what's going on, and I'm loving what's going on with them. So it's a, I, think it's a, I think it's really cool. It's a very exciting time to be involved in the music world right now. You know, uh, something I tossed out, you know, there's a, when I was coming up, the, you know, <laughs> there's, boy, I'll tell you, there's going to be a howl. There's going to be a howl from the uh, pragma pragmatic naysayers when I say this. But uh, reading used to be an essential tool. Uh, an essential meaning that if you couldn't read, you weren't going to work. That's the way it really did. It was that way. And it is not that way anymore. So while I still have students read, I had texts that were basically calculus, reading calculus, where it was like we would do snare drum, like snare drum concerto work. And I'm just, this is just not something that is going to apply to these kids. It's just, it just isn't. It makes me feel better to teach it because I worked so hard on it that I feel like they need to work so hard on it. And that is a disingenuous way to approach education. It is, it is, it's a lie. It's only making me feel better about what I worked on because I'm now going to make you suffer. There's plenty of other things to make them suffer through. <laughs> plenty. 
don't worry, they will be suffering the, to get to the upper levels of the art form too. But to put them through these snare drum books that I work so hard on, when I, that work, so much of that work is gone. It doesn't exist. For the serious student, should they do it? Absolutely. And the serious student who wants that vocabulary, I will guide them through that material. But sight unseen, for most of the you know, young players who are coming in who are trying to get their, just their basic musical stuff together, that is not something that they need to worry about. So I put it aside, and we're going to focus on other stuff. So, so one of the things that I'm really focusing on now with especially young students who come into me is um, I'm forcing them all to integrate technology into their studios. If you're a young student, and by young I mean under the age of 35, and you don't have the ability to record yourself in your space of work, you are working in a, on a 20th century model. You are a dinosaur. You, the pragmatic naysayers can squeal as much as they want. That's the truth. That's the truth. And young students are now going to be in control of their own sound in a way that uh, the giants whose shoulders we are standing upon never could dream of. You know, uh, we now need to be uh, engineers and producers in our own studio. You need to be able to produce your drums for the drums that you need to be able to record yourself. The beautiful thing about that, that used to be like, uh, used to, like even as much as 10 years ago, used to, if I said that, people would be like, well, you know, um, a lot of these students don't have money. Well, that, is, that argument's gone. It's gone. Because you can do it now for less than your cell phone bill for a few months. It's getting, it's getting embarrassingly inexpensive to record almost any instrument anybody can afford. It is. It's true. It's just the truth. And so I have a, if I have a young student who's, and I have a lot of guys who have completed their uh, college degrees, and they come to me as kind of like a finishing school. And I say to them, all right, now you have this great vocabulary. Right? You can whip around the drums at 900 miles an hour. Not that anybody cares about that, because they don't. But if you can, and that's great. You know, and you know, wh now what? What are we going to do? What's the game plan for the next five years? Where are you five years from now? And I guarantee you, if you want to be relevant as a young musician in today's music business, Part of that relevancy is going to be you recording from people, recording, interacting with other musicians, not even re recording records, but interacting with other musicians who aren't in the room with you at the same time. So being able to record your instrument is a fundamental aspect of being a young musician now, especially drummers. This is Tommy Igo, and for more videos, go to jazztimes.com. See you soon.